there was just too much disappointment to be contained in one top 10. <sighs> never ends. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down another top 10 anticlimactic boss battles. I thought, I thought I was beyond this, but I'm not. For this list, we're taking a look at those boss battles that felt like a letdown after a long and otherwise satisfying game. If you think we missed something, be sure to check out our first video on the top 10 anticlimactic boss battles, and since many of these are the last bosses in the game, be on the lookout for spoilers. Just like you always do. Number 10, Bowser, Super Mario Brothers. Now, none of us here at Watch Mojo are saying that Bowser isn't a great villain. I mean, he's got his own spot in the video game Hall of Fame. But truth be told, after finding out over and over again that Princess Peach was in all those other castles, and after taking down all of his replicas and minions, this battle is over relatively quickly. And by quickly, we mean under 10 seconds, or even less if you time it right. Number 9, General Shepard, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2. One of the series' greatest backstabbers and a wizard when it came to dishing out the heart-wrenching moments of the franchise, General Shepard was a man not to be messed with, and he made sure players understood why. We have the DSM! We got it, sir! Good. That's one less loose end. No! While the final battle against him was draped in tension, we would have preferred an actual battle with the veteran villain, as opposed to a single quick-time event. But hey, at least it looked awesome. I know you understand. Number eight, the Lambent Brumac, Gears of War 2. <laughs> we are always on board for new enemies in the Gears of War franchise. After all, the Locusts are known for having some pretty horrific and beastly creatures at their disposal. A Brumac, the Hammer of Dawn, and a helicopter ride, that's a lot of good elements right there. But as a final fight, all you really have to do is hold down a single button in the end. An awesome monster plus poor execution equals a whole lot of disappointment. Number seven, Knuckles, Sonic and Knuckles. After first seeing Knuckles in Sonic 3, players were eager to finally go head to head with the newcomer character by the time Sonic and Knuckles rolled around a year later. So after waiting for their chance to finally take on what seemed like a formidable opponent for Sonic, players were let down with a surprisingly easy fight. Even if Robotnik himself was a bit of a pushover as well, a year's worth of hype made the showdown with Knuckles all the more of a letdown. Number 6, Rodrigo Borgia, Assassin's Creed 2. This is it. The head of the Templar Order, the man responsible for killing the family of Ezio Auditori, and the head of the Roman Catholic Church no less. I am the prophet! This is the short little bastard you've been waiting to cut down for the entire game. You finally have your chance to take him down in a way fitting of a master assassin. And I see what you are made of, old man. All right then, if that's how you want to play it. And you end up having a fist fight with him. Ah, come on. I don't care. It's not approval I'm after, just power. Number five, Damien Brinks, Watchdogs. I see what you're doing. Upload your little virus, it sniffs around and finds me. Then you come beat up the cripple. Is that about right? When someone causes the death of a family member, you want to get even in the most brutal way possible, or at least hack all of his technology to hell. You're also grim, Aiden. <laughs> that was the hope that all Watchdog fans had as they climbed their way to a final face-to-face -face confrontation with Damien Brinks, expert hacker and expert douchebag. Six-year-old girl. My niece died because you went too far. Oh, you're adorable. Instead, we get a cutscene, and more cutscene, and then some more cutscene. That's it? That's all you got? Wait, are we actually gonna fight him at all? <laughs> oh. Number four, Didact, 
Halo 4. Come then, warrior. Have your resolution. Also known as Shadow of a Sundered Star, this forerunner was highly regarded back in his glory days as the supreme commander of his race's entire military. Even these beasts recognize what you were oblivious to, human. Unfortunately, he decided to put those skills to use by targeting Earth and making an enemy of Mr. Badass himself, the Master Chief. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity. Whatever the cost. With centuries of time, ideals, and skills between them, you would have thought that this would have been a showdown that all fans of the franchise would adore. Instead, we get a short quick time event and kaboom, he's out of here. That was sort of a letdown there, Chief. She said that to me once. Number three, Sephiroth, Final Fantasy VII. Now, before Final Fantasy fans leap onto their keyboards, let's reiterate. We're not talking about the final battle against Safer Sephiroth. That's a legendary battle in gaming. We're actually talking about the battle that takes place straight after, inside Cloud's mind. Is it dramatic? Sure. Is it good? Well, since it's nearly impossible to die in this fight, since you automatically can go in with your strongest attack charged and kill him with one hit, seems like a bit of a waste. Number two, the Black Hand of Sauron, Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor. With a name like that, you would expect something pretty spectacular to come out of this fight, especially since this slippery villain is the one who killed your wife and family. It starts off pretty promising, with the leader of the Black Captains taking away half of your power, only for Sauron to appear and take his place in the battle. Whoa. This is pretty badass, you're actually fighting the Dark Lord of Mordor. This should be as challenging as it is satisfying. Ah, but alas, the Dark Lord is no match for your mighty quick time event skills. Before our number one disappointment rears its ugly head, here are a few dishonorable mentions. You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one, you're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in f***ing agony. Number one, Mr. Sinister, Deadpool. Deadpool, you are a repugnant, revolting, disgusting abomination with no place in this world. Now, when it comes to the Merc with the Mouth, we're pretty much hoping for the zany, crude, and twisted. Ah! What we didn't want is boring. Boring should never exist in the same context as Deadpool. This is the man who literally flirted with death, the man who bitch slapped Wolverine and lived. He deserves an epic final boss battle. Oh, Wolvie, time to wake up. Rise and shine, Stubby. Wake up, up and at him. But alas, and yes, we've noticed this trend too. The final confrontation ends with a simple quick time event and a few lame jokes. I know it can be hard to execute a long string of button presses like this one, but you can do it. We believe in you. Let's hope the Deadpool movie ends up being a little bit more satisfying. Wait, that was the real sinister, right? Do you agree with our list? You are God. Which boss battle disappointed you the most? For more top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. We're done here. Woo!